to season three of Lifestyles and Passions of the BCS family. <laughs> Today we are here with Ryanosaurus, <laughs> aka Ryan Blackstock. <laughs> <laughs> I am Sunstar, aka Heidi Blackstock. And my name is Brooke J, and my camp name for today is Brookie Monster. <laughs> and I'm Walking Manicorn, aka Isaac Fatagoni. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, good job, guys. Oh, we were all just laughing because we. Literally, that's the third time we've yeah. done it today, and I love that. <laughs> I think we might see it. I think we like it. Hey, Brookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So I'll just I'll give some context. Yeah. Uh, we introduce ourselves with our camp name because we we do this adult adventure camp on the island, and people come up with camp names, and we refer to each other as our silly names throughout the whole weekend. So just wanted to break the ice. Yeah, awesome. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and while you guys are watching, you should think of your camp name and comment below because it's fun to do. Or have your or tag a friend and think their camp name. Oh, and that give it to them. Yes. And then call them out. I like that. I like that. Okay. Well, while you guys are doing that, we're gonna step back for a second because we're excited to have you guys on our hot seat for our third season. And Isaac and I have been having so much fun interviewing different cool people in the BCS family, giving you guys a platform to like be introduced to BCS. Um, you guys play volleyball. We do. Um, we in try. Yep. We try our best. <laughs> <laughs> and you used to be a happy panda playing yes. football. Yep. Back in, the also, back mm -hmm. in the day. So, um, so now you guys, I mean, your company's transitioned all along the way, but I want to introduce Xanadu to BCS because we decided a couple years back that we are, what do we call ourselves? Like company Sister besties? Company. Sister <laughs> companies. Yeah. Um, sure. We're basically both Beach City Sports and Xanadu. Our purpose as like the founders and creators of it is to create community. And we've just found these unique ways to bring humans together and help them connect on different levels. And I know that's like the spiritual big picture side of why we do it. Yeah. I just think it's really cool. So what's what's your guys' like elevator speech? What is Xanadu to someone who's never heard of it before? Xanadu is a lifestyle events company with the mission of bringing people together through adventure, wellness, education, and green living. Um, so essentially we just inspire people to get outside. <laughs> so beach cleanups, <coughs> yoga, silent disco yogas, wow. mm -hmm. which are so cool. Yeah, sunset cruises. Sunset cruises. Um, meaning you guys just rent like a three-story boat. Is it always in Long Beach? Mm -hmm. In Long Beach and spend three, four hours out on the water. You guys have really good DJs and food and vendors. And yeah, it's things. three levels, 500 people, multiple stages, lots of vendors, really good food. We have uh, July 14th, we have our next boat party. It's called the White Sun. It's a white themed and we actually have a, a burrito sushi vendor that's coming on board. Which is new yeah, and exciting. I think, I think it's lunchtime. Dueling <laughs> saxophone players. Uh, we do limbo. I don't yeah. want to give it all away, yeah. but there's yeah. a lot That's of so fun cool. games as well. So Sunset Cruises, we already mentioned beach cleanups and San Disco Yoga. Mm -hmm. And then like your flagship, like your big thing every year is your Camp Xanadu. Yes. Right. And we do uh, we do like these missions and we also do Havasupai, which is uh, oh. a week long in uh, Arizona, like cascading waterfalls. It's a really awesome backpacking adventure. Um, but our flagship is Camp Xanadu, which is in Emerald Bay Cove in Catalina Island. Yep. Which is so cool. Yeah. Catalina is amazing. I've never actually been to that side of Catalina. But you, what's that? Tell us like about it. It's a three-day weekend. It's a three-day weekend where adults get to be kids. They get to unleash their inner extraordinary self. And they get to play, get to learn, get to laugh, get to adventure. Um, and it's just a great bonding experience for the community to really dive in deep and get to know each other. It's trending right now. It's super trendy. Um, <laughs> festivals are out. out. And camps, camps are, are in. in. <laughs> and that's July 14th, right? Uh, the, the cruise is July 14th. Okay, that's okay. Saturday uh, from 5 to 9. But the camp is at the end of September. So the last week yeah. of September. So you have time to plan. Yeah. It's all inclusive. Uh, the boat ride there, all your meals, your cabin, or you can bring your own tent this oh. year. Um, all of that is included in the price. Yeah. And, uh, go ahead. Well, I'm sure we'll talk about more of that because you guys are out at volleyball mm -hmm. and we'll help you guys just send out the invite. Awesome. Right, hat switch. 
Plastic and uh, or plastic specifically. Um, in the last 15 years, half of the ocean's plastics um, were were made. So essentially, half of the plastic in the ocean came from the last 15 years of civilization putting trash in the ocean. 73% of that trash is litter, and um, the majority of it is, you know, plastic bags. It is straws. It is bottles. It is bottle tops um, and cigarette butts. Mm -hmm. And so, um, all of these things are things that um, we could throw away or stop using 100%. And that that 73% of trash in the ocean will be gone. And it's about revolution revolutionizing the way people think about trash and their attitude about plastic. Yeah. 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 And I think that, uh, you know, tra beach cleanups can be fun. We make them really fun. You guys do though, you make it a full experience. We'll make sure BCS experiences your guys' yeah. trash cleanups. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I think the biggest like misconception is like the finger pointing like, oh, them, like the others, like are littering our beaches and how they're they. But it actually is a uh, all of our efforts to keep our beaches clean, um, to keep our oceans plastic free, like we all use, consume plastic, everybody. Yeah. And even if you throw it away in the trash can, like we have winds here on the coast and sometimes they knock the trash down and all of a sudden it's all of our traps that, you know, these animals are eating plastic and that there's a straw stuck in this turtle's nose. Yeah. Like we all are equally responsible because we're all consumers of it. So it's not about the finger pointing, it's like taking the personal responsibility you feel like, hey, I love our beaches. I love to keep them clean, just like you would keep your home clean, just like you'd keep your, you know, bedroom super clean. Hopefully your bedroom's really clean. Um, <laughs> Not all of us have as good Well, you know, a good takeaway, too, that people don't realize is that um, there's, like, a psychological shift in a person after they clean up the beach, especially the first time, where they get a confidence boost. And uh, they're walking away feeling like, wow, I did Sunday fun day. I went to the beach and I cleaned the beach. And I've, I've heard multiple times now people on their phones like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm at a beach cleanup, like bragging about it. <laughs> like, oh, we're, at, we're doing mimosas. Like, oh, that's cool. I'm at a beach cleanup. And I just clean up all this trash and this and that. And, like, <laughs> trying to like show off to their girlfriends or boyfriends. Uh -huh. I'm like, hey. And they're feeling really good about what they've done, you know. And it's like being part of something bigger than yourself. Yeah. And I think there's... Hot say about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I have my eye on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah. Perfect. Oh, nice. that one looks good, honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a Disney that. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. This is yeah. awesome. So, at the end of each interview, we always like to ask, "What can the BCS family do to support you, uh, your cause? What do you do with uh, Xanadu?" Cookies. Cookies. Give us lots of cookies. Lots of cookies. <laughs> if you gluten see us gluten-free ones, he's gluten-free. <clears throat> so just bring us cookies. That's, 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 it's super easy. All cookies. Kinds. Gluten -free yeah. Cookies. I'm sure we can find yeah. you guys some <laughs> gluten-free cookies. Um, oh, but actually, um, you can come and like, join us. We love BCS and how the family is outdoors all the time. Like That's completely our lifestyle and our yeah. vibe, too. And I think that's why we're sister companies, is that yeah. we also take everything outdoors. Um, and it's a whole plethora of experiences, whatever you want to do. You want to have fun. You want to have purpose in your life. You want to learn and educate and connect. Um, we kind of offer the whole gamut of outside experiences. So 
Um, I'm sure there'll be a link down here uh, or somewhere around <laughs> the proximity, but yeah. you can pop up, check, right here, check stuff follow out. Follow this link right and there. And come say hi and bring us some cookies. <laughs> Jump right in, come to Camp Xanadu, number one. If you want to get your yeah. feet really wet and have fun. <laughs> Literally, uh, jump on board. Yep, and 20% of all of our events proceeds go towards our nonprofit, our beach cleanup efforts, and to educate people about single use plastics and how it's damaging not just animals and our environment, but ourselves as well. Awesome. Yeah, and I will share the cookies with Brett. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten pretty good over the season. <laughs> well, yeah.